The first thing which we need to do is to create a new Android project and then also to pair it up with Firebase. So let's open up Android Studio. I'm using the version 3.4.1, but this should work with any subsequent ver versions as well. We want to click here, start a new Android Studio project, and we want to select basic activity to be our main activity. So select this basic, just make sure it's selected, and let's call it Firebase course. language should be Kotlin and we are going to use Android X artifact so make sure you tick this bottom most uh, checkbox and once I've changed the location we're going to say finish once everything is properly configured because we have selected the blank activity template as we were creating this project we are going to have three files which we are interested in and those are inside res layout we have content main but also activity main which contains a floating action button which we will use to add new pets later on and then also we have the main activity kotlin class itself but let's not bother with these android classes and layouts for now because we also have to set up firebase project in addition to an android project when you go to firebase.google.com and link is also in the lesson summaries we want to go to console so that url is console.firebase.google.com and let's add a new project so let's call it zenva firebase course let's leave analytics location to be united states I accept all the terms and conditions, obviously. Make sure you read them though. And we are going to say create project. It's gonna take some time, so let's just wait for a while. Awesome, once this project is created, we wanna go over to it. It's actually gonna take us there automatically. And immediately we are prompted with the fact that we should add our app to the Firebase project, actually link our app with Firebase. So we are operating with Android. So let's select this Android icon. And now we have to input our data. The first thing which we should add here is Android package name. This is the one which you have selected as you were creating the project. If you do not know your package name, for some reason, you can find it over inside Gradle scripts then build.gradle for the module app and over here is application id so we want to copy this this is where we want to paste this android package name then the app nickname here is only optional so we can leave it blank what we want to add though is this debug signing certificate sha1 it also writes here that it's optional but if you want to use Google sign in, you need to provide this debug sign in certificate. But what is actually this sign in certificate? Every Android app needs to be signed with a key store. When you upload an app onto Google Play, you sign it with your own key store with your own password. If you are only debugging your apps, so you are only running them from within Android Studio by clicking on this run icon, you are not applying your own key store. You are only signing this app with a temporary, so to say, debug signing certificate. And certain services, for example, Google Auth is one of them, require that you provide this debug signing certificate because they use it somehow to check whether or not the user who is trying to sign in with their Google account is actually using an app which is authorized by the Google authentication to use it, right? Long story short, to add the debug sign-in certificate, let's click on this question mark here and press see this page, which will take us to Android developer documentation or Google developers documentation. And over here, we can see how to get the debug certificate fingerprint because we are now going to 
release an app in this course, we are only going to be debugging it. So if you are on Mac or Linux or Windows, copy your own appropriate uh, path here or command. So let's just copy it. And actually, I do not know why, but this is in a wrong format because this uh, slash should not be here. It should be without this slash and without a new line. So let's just copy it from here and paste it somewhere, for example, inside the URL bar in your browser and just delete this slash and now copy it one more time without that slash and now go over to command line if you are on Windows, command prompt and we are going to right click, at least on Windows, to paste it in here and now run this command. The key store password for the debug uh, certificate is Android. And now we are presented with certificate fingerprints and we want to get SHA-1. So let's just copy this as usual, control C. And now we are going to paste this SHA-1 over here as the debug sign-in certificate. So now we are good to go and we want to register the app.